Hello guys, what's up? I am Yalik, and this is a bit of a catch-up video today. Uh, how I made things go boom over the weekend. Fair warning, um, I'm moving, and so the next week of my life is going to be chaotic. And I don't know how many videos I'll be able to get out. We've had some interesting uh, developments over the last few days. You know about the Lasertrons. This morning we had an unexpected gunboat ability, and it's odd. This is not something we've seen before in the game. Explosive drones, they are level 1 for everybody, whether you are... I, they're level 1 on my 34 level account, and on my max level account, still level 1. They do the same damage. I'm not quite sure what they're good for. I've found... Ah, hold on. Explosive Drones. Description. Fires a cluster of drones that take a short duration to activate and then make a beeline for the nearest enemy building and explode dealing damage. Uh, 5,000 damage is pretty good if you're talking about player bases. It's not going to be useful at all in ops. Uh, it's c These things do seem to clear mines a little bit, and that's kind of useful on my two lower level accounts because... I don't have critters on either one yet. I need to get the next level HQ, and I will finally have critters on this account. On the other one, obviously, I do not yet, because that's 10, 11 levels lower. So, I'm not quite sure what these guys are good for. Uh, really, it's just kind of an interesting new thing, which goes to show, I guess, that uh, Supercell is trying to innovate beyond the original gunboat abilities that we were given back when they first came out with the Mega Turtle. Still, uh, this one's not that great. But, so, let's see. There's a few fun things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a great weekend with my lowest level account just running around my map with Lasertrons and getting upgrades and upgrades and upgrades, just destroying everybody. Lasertrons were pretty much good for everybody at every level of the game. There were people at the leaderboard level who were making videos about how great Lasertrons were, and I saw people at 1300, 1400 VP level uh, talking about how great they were, and at 800 level talking about how great they were, and I talked about how great they were for both of my mini accounts. They were just really, really fun, so hopefully those will be back around. Those were a good, uh, a good development over the weekend. Sky Shields are still around, a little bit. Um, blasters have left the weapons lab. This is an interesting thing. Where is my weapons lab here? Um, Hot Pots are back. They went away for a week. Sky Shields have now gone. Simos remain gone. Blasters are no longer available. So I actually cooked up two on my, on my max level account just because that seemed like it would be an interesting counter while uh, while they are away. Um, the Sky Shields are still hanging around a little bit. I, I got rid of the one I had on this account and actually threw down a blaster. I wanted to share this attack from a couple of nights ago because I thought this was hilarious. This is me going after this fellow. I think I got him on the next try. But here I am, and I completely, completely forgot about... I just figured, okay, Sky Shield, I'll just walk right past it and do my thing. Here I say I'm preparing the back of this guy's base for my typical Heavy Zooka smoke attack. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm good right here, and uh, this is going to be a nice, easy hit. And just watch what happens. I... I couldn't even like I couldn't even be mad. I had to I had to laugh at myself. This was so stupid. When and if I ever get to the point of deploying troops. There we go. The two boats are heavy and we've got brick. We were gonna use battle orders and just blast right through that HQ. And taking a little fire on the beach, but fine. Group up, smoke, flare, and Yeah. So the thing about Sky Shield is it negates gunboat energy. That also includes smoke. And I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so I died instantly on that attack. There was nothing I could do about it except sit and watch and laugh at my own stupid self because that was a hilarious way to 
to fail an attack. <laughs> and like I said, I mean, they're, they're not, whatever, I just went around the side on the next attack and got him. Um, this was fun, I'm just going to share it because, just because, and I had a similar attack today, uh, except the guy had beached his HQ. Now this guy has not beached his HQ, he actually thinks he's defending it, and I guess if you, I wouldn't try to attack this base with tanks, but as for anything else, well, particular, I mean, this is just the perfect AZ base, and it's such a short walk that even on this account, I'm going to have the energy for three or four shocks, which is great because everything is so clustered, I can get things together. So there we go with the four shocks, and just blast, blast, blast. Not a great base design. That was good. Um, Finally, well, I don't think I have the hits anymore. Uh, I had said on this one, uh, making it easy, needed the win, blue 900 gold attacking a guy with a censored sky shield. Uh, he had the sky shield right over his HQ, and I just kept screwing up the attack. Not flaring in the right spot, not shocking in the right spot, and finally, like, I was so, I was just so mad, I, I kept attacking him because it should have been a really easy hit, and I ended up not being able to beat him. Even when I finally did get the right attack, everything went the way I wanted it to. You know, you have to flare right to the corner of the HQ. It just projects beyond the range of the Sky Shield. And then shock just a little outside the range of the Sky Shield. And everything, everything right, finally, on like the fifth or sixth attack. And uh, he still didn't go down. So, But I wasted a whole bunch of gold. Um, finally, and kind of what I wanted to get to today... An, an attack from this morning, um, this guy, well, I, this guy doesn't know the difference between splash damage and one-shot defenses, and to, to my task force, I asked, and you guys do, right? And I hope they do, uh, especially if after watching this. Here was a base that was really, really, really easy to defeat, and the reason it was easy to defeat is that if you look at this base, he has... Shock launchers up front, range, and area damage. He has a doom cannon sort of towards the middle, but not ranging the back, and that does splash damage. He has this uh, ranged blaster, but still middle and front and doesn't range the back. And if you know me, that means I'm thinking I'm just going to work around. So all I have to do is remove this rocket launcher over here, and that gets rid of all the splash damage and range damage to the back of the base. And this one, I have to walk past anyway, because that's my preferred roundabout route. And as I'm walking past, I can just stop and remove that. And then finally, when I curl around on my walking path, so we'll do a little detour over here, but then I'll curl around this way, and as I curl around this way, I can address that final rocket launcher. With those out of the picture, if you look at the back of his base, he has one lone mortar. Everything from here forward. He has, this will be gone. He has this one mortar. That's one thing I need to deal with. And everything else, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten towers back here. He thinks he's def defending his HQ. And he is not at all, because every single one of those things can just be overwhelmed by large troop numbers, so rifles and zookas. So once I remove this tower, this tower, this tower, nothing can range really the back of the base, and I have one mortar to deal with. And that's the only concerning thing in his base. Uh, I actually, I mean, he's a much higher level than I am. I've been... I usually will switch in uh, an extra boat of heavy, so go 3-4, if I'm expecting the heavies to take a bunch of fire. In this case, I was, but I still went with just the two boats of heavies, because I don't need them in the back of the base. The Zookas will just run right through all of that stuff. Those are all one-shot defenses. They take time to fire. They only kill one troop at a time, and while that's happening, my Zookas will just obliterate everything back there. And all of this stuff up front which would be a headache for me, is too far away to be of any concern. So, here we are. We've barred out the right lower rocket launcher, and then we're going to remove this one. Ah, beautiful. Just like that. And then we're going to get away. Flare, re-smoke, 
keep as many troops alive as possible. And as we get up here, I'm actually going to let the heavies pop out, and I'm going to drop critters as soon as possible because we want to distract this rocket launcher. And as I said, we're going to address that rocket launcher from that side, so the heavies will be out front, the critters will be out front, and they'll take most of the fire. Shocking in between, where I can. And as soon as this goes down, the blaster is going to pick off a little bit at the edges there, but we're going to flare away from it. As soon as that goes down, flare back up. And now, here is where, as I said before, all of this stuff at the back of the base is really immaterial, except for that one mortar. That's the only thing that really concerns me here, because otherwise I have good troop numbers, and these towers will just take way too long to eat up my troops. And in the meantime, the HQ will be down. Critters are out there distracting them also, and you see my girls are just ripping through things. And yeah, I mean, we're having one or two picked off here and there, but not that big a deal, because we have plenty. And they are dealing damage quickly. And the critters are distracting things too, and didn't even need the heavies. As I said, went with two boats of heavies, they're all dead. And that doesn't even matter anymore, because everything that was really a problem for us is we either walked past or uh, had a plan to remove. And easy as that. Down goes the HQ, even a little bit of celebratory GBE. I guess that's one thing that these new exploding drones are good for, celebratory GBE. Um, they are not great with the mine clearance, I'll say that. Here, let's see if we can find... Uh, they, they, they're, they're not great in the first place, just because they stop. As soon as you, they hit the ground, they just sit there for a bit, frozen. And what good is that? So the defenses will just wipe them out. So, let's see if we can... Yeah, we're going to attack this and try to show how this thing does at picking off mines, which is good, I guess, if you have no other critters, which I don't. So that is a little bit handy. Also, these things are kind of good in certain situations, like I found a, an M... A machine gun this morning that was completely undefended off to the back of a base and so I threw some of these guys onto it and since the machine gun has a blind spot it couldn't attack them nothing else could attack them and so they wiped out the machine gun which could be handy for freeing up some GBE I guess it would be better if I had critters that would be really spectacular because a lot of people will do that they'll throw their uh, economy buildings to, to the back of a base kinda like that but with very little defending them, then they'll front load all of their defenses. So if I had critters and could, uh, maybe they'll throw one machine gun or something back there to defend those towers. If I had critters, I could then take away that one defense and throw the critters after this and just free up loads and loads of GB. Unfortunately, I do not. And I will not for quite some time on this account. Probably not till the end of the month when we get another mega crap. So. Yeah, they do clear mines. If you don't have critters yet, they're good enough at that. Otherwise, uh, anyway. But it's something, and Supercell is still trying. So I guess we'll take it. In the meantime, we plug forward, anticipating whatever new events are coming. Um, Tribes are not all that exciting this week. Finally, they did get to medic healing. I have been waiting since they started with the tribes. I have been waiting for a medic healing tribe boost. Not because, well, not because I particularly care about the medics. It just seemed like such an obvious thing. And then there was that one time where Supercell screwed up and they released new tribes and one of the tribes uh, boosted medic damage, which was a hilarious fail. Hey, kind of like my first attack that I just showed you. I don't know if you remember that night, but for a couple of hours, medic damage was the tribe boost, and then they fixed it, and they changed that to something, I think it was rifles or something like that, just uh, as kind of a desperation move. Anyway, they've finally gotten around to doing medic healing. Um, not much else that's really, really exciting right now. Anyway, so I guess we're just going along and playing the game like we normally do. 
Anyway, we're all caught up. That's all I got for you today. And uh, I will put out more content towards the end of the week, I guess, as I am able. But we'll see. Wish me luck on the moving. And I am out. Have a great day.